Hi everyone and welcome to Create 8. It's Vicky here and today I'm going to create 8 different cards using supplies from the latest release by my favorite things. So for my first card I'm going to use this adorable stamp set which is called Space Explorer and I'm going to stamp that little guy who is holding the three stars. Now I am also going to stamp three planets and I am coloring all my images with my alcohol markers. Of course at, th at uh, this stage you can use your favorite coloring medium. After coloring everything I'm going to use the matching dynamic set and uh, cut out the images. I'm going to run them through my die cutting machine and now I have everything cut out as you can see and for my card base I decided to use a black card base this is black licorice cardstock by my favorite things and now I'm going to create the space for my little astronaut so I am using uh, white gesso with water and I'm going to create small splashes with my thin brush the more you add the better and I really like how random they look and uh, how you get uh, teeny tiny splashes and a little bigger ones. Now that my sky is ready, my space is ready, I have cut out this uh, stitched uh, around it uh, rectangle and um, I am going for a shaker card. The truth is that you don't have to do this step, you can just uh, stick all the images on top of uh, the space that you have already created and you get done with it. But I wanted to take it a step further, so I am uh, going to create a window out of this uh, frame. So I have cut out my foam into tiny little uh, strips of foam and I'm going to use those to go all around that white border. I'm using my nouveau glue pen at the back of the planets and sticking them on my space. I'm also going to uh, add uh, some uh, diamond dust at uh, the center of the, that space just to add a little bit of uh, something to move inside my window. And then I'm going to stick the frame on top. Another idea is to cut out little stars and stick them inside the window so they look like falling stars at the sky. Now I'm going to stick my little astronaut at uh, one corner of uh, my frame. And uh, the outside of my card is pretty much finished. I'm just trying to decide how he's going to go there and on the inside I'm going to stamp the sentiment so for the sentiment I'm going to use one of the sentiments from the same stamp set which is all about birthdays I'm going to stamp it with Versamark ink and then white emboss it so I'm preparing my cardstock first with my embossing uh, tool which uh, removes static electricity I'm going to stamp the sentiment apply my white embossing powder and the one I'm using is by Nuvo by the way and then I'm going to use my heat gun and melt the powder and that says mission control we have a birthday now to finish it off on the outside I'm going to add some glitter on the stars and my first card is ready For my second card I'm using the fancy flower stamp set so I'm going to pick up some flowers and some leaves I'm going to stamp them and I'm going to stamp them with archival ink which does not smudge or smear when you use watercolor I'm going to stamp everything on watercolor paper on the smooth side and then I'm going to use my new Nuvo Aqua Flow pens to color everything so to color the first flower I'm going to mix two different uh, watercolor pens, the red and the pink. Now if you want to see a more detailed video on how I am doing this technique with my Aqua Flow pens, you can check the video that I have posted uh, last week. The Aqua Flow pens are by Tonic Studios, they are already available in Europe and they will be available in the US really soon. And as always, you will find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using today down below in the description area, as well as on my blog. So check that out. Now, once I color everything, I am going to use my Dynamics die set and cut out all the images using my uh, Sizzix uh, Big Shot machine. 
And I end up having those beautiful uh, flowers in a watercolor look. I love how bright and bold they are. Now, just because I had uh, on my table that uh, black licorice cardstock that I used for my previous card, I decided to stick those flowers on top of that just because this is going to help them pop even more. So I have cut out this rounded rectangle uh, frame. And uh, I have placed it temporarily on top of my card base and I'm going to stamp the sentiment. Now for the sentiment I'm going with one from the Boss Babe stamp set that says design a life you love. I'm going to stamp it with uh, Versa marking and then apply white embossing powder and heat set it. This way I have a bright white sentiment on top of my black cardstock. And by placing temporarily that white frame on top of my card base, I made sure that uh, everything is nicely aligned and centered. Now my sentiment is ready and it's time to assemble my card. I have already glued down the frame and now I'm going to stick down the flowers and I'm using some foam squares at the back to add a little bit of dimension. I'm going to decide where everything is going to go and then I'm also going to stick the leaves Underneath the, fl underneath the flowers. If you love coloring, I think that this is a great set uh, for you because uh, they have nice wide open areas to color with your favorite medium. So I have uh, stuck down all my flowers and my leaves. My design is uh, pretty much finished. I'm just doing some finishing touches with my white gel pen. And of course this is totally optional. I just like to add some highlights sometimes. And for some finishing touches, I am using my white crystal drops by Nuvo to add some dots. Some are bigger, some are smaller, but these are going to give a whimsical look to my card. And of course you can add a sequence instead or uh, enamel uh, dots, but uh, I really like the um, look and feel and the dimension that my Nuvo drops add on my cards. So this is the finished card. And on the inside you can uh, stick a white paper to write your sentiment or you can write with your white gel pen. And let's move on to the third card for today. And this is the Perfect Friend Samset by My Favorite Things. I have chosen to stamp the cat with uh, the flowers on her body, uh, one of the cages, a little birdie and a couple of hearts. And I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color everything. Now in these types of videos when I am creating 10 or 8 cards I never stop uh, for uh, you to see how I color everything otherwise it's going to take hours. So I'm just uh, going to move it forward where I have already colored everything and I have used the dies to cut out all the images. The red cardstock that I'm working on is by my favorite things. It's the red hot cardstock and I have cut it a rectangle which is slightly smaller than a standard card. So I'm going to stick everything there. For the cage I am going to cut out a white and red baker's twine. I'm going to place it at the back, secure it at the back with a foam square. And then I'm going to stick that on top of my little panel. Now the truth is that um, this is uh, quite small and it's not going to show too much at the end once I stick the sentiment. But uh, it's still there and it adds a little bit of texture. If that panel was bigger you would be able to see more of that uh, twine. So anyway I have secured that there. I'm going to stick the little birdie on my cage and now I'm going to stick the little hearts. I wanted to have a big bold sentiment for my card so just because this is a red card I decided to do the sentiment white on top of black. So I am stamping the sentiment from the same stamp set that says you are the perfect friend. I'm stamping it with uh, my Versa marking and then I'm going to apply my white embossing powder. So this is my card base. It's uh, again made out of red hot cardstock by my favorite things. And since I want to add something interesting at the background, I decided to stamp this uh, floral background by my favorite things. This is from the previous release. I have stamped it with uh, Versa marking. I'm going for a tone on tone look here. And I'm going to emboss it with clear embossing powder. 
So I'm going to heat set it with my heat gun. And I will end up with a background with lots of detail, but at the same time it's very subtle. So I'm going to stick my panel on top of my card base. And you can see how it looks. Now for the sentiment I'm going to cut out a fish tail on one end. And I'm going to stick that on top of my panel by using some foam tape at the back. To finish off my card I'm going to use my black gel pen on my cat's eyes and on her nose. And I just had to add some glitter on all the hearts. For my next card I'm using images from the Farm Friends stamp set which is just adorable and uh, I am going to stamp some of them in white cardstock, color them with my alcohol markers and then die cut them with the matching dies. So I used a couple of trees, the wagon with uh, three guys inside, a little birdie and uh, now I'm going to do all the coloring. And it doesn't take a lot of time to color all those images, just because they are so tiny I didn't do a lot of uh, shading. So it was quite uh, quick. Now I'm going to do the die cutting. My card base is by my favorite things snow cone color cardstock. And um, I am also going to use this uh, green, which is the um, sour apple green by my favorite things again. I have uh, cut out some uh, slopes and I'm going to stick one on top of the other. This way I'm going to create my little scene. On the front one I'm going to add some foam tape and this way I'm going to add a little bit of dimension so that I can stick some of my images behind. I'm trying to decide where everything is going to go before I commit with the glue. And now I'm going to use my tape runner and stick everything down. I have also cut out a few clouds. I'm not going to use all of them. But uh, they come from a dye that was uh, released in uh, the previous month. And uh, it was called Cl Cloud9, I believe. You will find links to everything I use down below in the description area. Now I'm also going to stick that little birdie. And I like how he is uh, following everyone. And I will continue assembling my card by sticking down the trees and the clouds. I have cut out a banner out of uh, those dies that were released uh, in a previous month. I have used them so much and I think that uh, they are uh, one of my go-to banners for stamping and adding my sentiments on my cards. So now I have uh, stamped a sentiment from the same stamp set, from the Farm Friends stamp set, that says it's always more fun when we are together. A quick and easy design that you will see I'm going to repeat for the last card. And this is not actually a card but a tag. So I have cut out uh, the wine tag twice. And I am using the wine glasses from the wine service dynamics set. I'm going to decide where everything is going to go. Secure them on top. I am going to place one tag on top of the other and make sure that I run them through my Sizzix machine at the same time. So the, those wine glasses cut out through both layers. That's why I am running it uh, more than once just to make sure that everything is cut out all the way. I am going to pop out all those wine glasses. And uh, for this wine tag I am going for a very sophisticated, let's say, for a very clean and simple look just because I want this to work for any occasion. This is a great way to decorate a bottle of wine that you give as a hostess gift or for a birthday or for any occasion really. So I am placing uh, some uh, tape at the back of my tag and I am going to cover up those glasses with acetate. So from the front they are going to look as if it's glass nice and shiny and transparent just like glass and I am going to do the exact same thing on one side of the other tag 
so I will end up with two tags that have acetate at the back. And now of course I need to add uh, red wine inside my glasses, so I have cut out a strip of uh, red paper which I am going to stick at the back. I'm going to cut off the excess and uh, now I'm going to sandwich one tag on top of the other, so both ways are good ways, so there is no front and back on this tag. Just because this is going to be a gift, I just want it to be perfect. I am going to make sure that I add enough uh, glue all over the inside of my tag. And then very carefully I'm going to line them up, making sure that they match perfectly. And all I have to do now is to stamp the sentiment. And this comes from the uncorked stamp set. Clean and simple, and I really love it. So here is a photo on how it looks on top of a bottle. For this card I'm working with uh, the Friends Forever stamp set, which is full of teddy bears, and I have chosen to stamp one that has his hands open, as if he wants to hug you. I have stamped my teddy bear on craft paper and I am doing the coloring with my Prismacolor pencils and uh, I am switching from one medium to another like I am doing water coloring or uh, alcohol markers and now Prismacolors just because I get bored to use the same uh, coloring medium again and again and I like to give some love to my supplies. So anyway, I'm going to color my teddy bear and of course you can use your favorite coloring method. And I am planning to stick this teddy bear on top of this white panel, but just because this is very plain, I decided to add a little bit of color. And I am using pink for my background, just because pink and brown are a great combination together. Now in the beginning I thought I would stick this panel and the teddy bear on top of this chocolate cardstock, but uh, then I changed my mind later on and you will see that I will change the card base. So I am going to stick the teddy bear using one of those wobbles. These are springs that um, help your teddy bear move and um, as if he wants to give you a hug. I think this is really adorable. I have cut out a banner. This is um, cotton candy cardstock by my favorite things and I'm going to white emboss the sentiment that comes from the same stamp set. The sentiment says I can't wait to give you a squeeze and I think it matches perfectly the little teddy bear with that wobble that moves up and down. Now I'm going to hit set my sentiment and of course for my card base I decided to use the exact same uh, cardstock that I used for the sentiment so everything is cotton candy now. I'm going to add some uh, foam tip at the back of the sentiment and then stick that banner just below my teddy bear. Very simple design but really adorable. And I have also punched out a tiny little heart which I am going to stick on top of my teddy bear. And uh, again the heart is the same pink, the co uh, cotton candy, as the rest of my cardstock. Now to finish it off I am going to use some glitter on top of my little heart. And I am going to use my black Nouveau drops on his eyes and his nose. Now for this card I'm going to stamp the sentiment first, so I'm using uh, one that comes from the Lots of Hugs stamp set and it says sending hugs across the miles. I have stamped it at the very bottom of my panel with black ink and then on top I'm going to die cut the word hugs. So I'm going to place it nice and straight, I'm going to secure it temporarily and then run it through my Sizzix machine and I end up with this beautiful panel for my card. Now this is called Sketched Blooms and uh, it's a layering uh, flower set but there is a line that combines all the flowers that go together so it's really easy to recognize which goes with which one. 
So I am going to stamp some of them coming out of my hugs die cut. And uh, I am going to stamp the stems and uh, some of the flowers. You can uh, pretty much uh, use many colors and create a um, colorful uh, garden. I decided to go with uh, just one color for my flowers. And uh, I'm going to play with my uh, my favorite things, ink cubes, and all those stems and flowers, and meet you back once this is ready. Now I have finished all my stamping and I am going to add some details and uh, I am going to use my white gel pen to add some white details on the center of my flower, the big flower there, as well as the little yellow ones. So I'm giving them a white center and I am also going to add some dots. These are the same yellow dots as I did uh, the flowers. I'm going to do some uh, highlighting with my white gel pen. Just some finishing touches. These are not um, something that you have to do. I just like to do it and uh, sometimes I cannot leave the card alone. I always have to add more details. Now for my card base I'm going to use this Razzleberry a cardstock by my favorite things that matches perfectly my flowers and I am going to make a note on where that uh, die cut falls and this is where I am going to cover up uh, the bag with uh, my tape this is adhesive tape and um, I'm going to make sure that I cover up all the bagging I'm going to check again and now I'm going to peel off that uh, adhesive and apply some uh, glitter. This is glitter by Nuvo and I'm going to show you how you can do it mess free. You see I haven't touched the glitter at all at this point. I'm going to place that backing on top and burnish with my bone folder the glitter to make sure that it sticks nicely on top of my adhesive. And now I'm going to place that back inside that jar. I hope you can see how shiny it looks. And just because I have that glitter there, I decided to add some on top of my flower. So I used my Nouveau pen there, glue pen, and uh, it sticks on my flowers only where that uh, glue pen touched. And this is what I do for a mess-free and glitter-free table, so there is no glitter anywhere. Now I'm going to add some foam tape at the back and stick it on top of my card base. And I hope you can see how shiny it looks. For the last card I'm going to stamp the little girl from the Pure Innocence Happy Together stamp set. I am also going to stamp the sentiment from the same stamp set that says we make a great team. 
And uh, what I love about my favorite things, stamp sets that come up every month is that you can combine to them together and create little scenes. So I am going to combine the, the little cow from the farm friends stamp set as well as that uh, little tree. And I'm pretty much going to recreate a um, card that I created earlier where all those farm uh, friends were in the valley outside in that uh, little scene. So again, I used the same cardstock for the background. I have cut out those uh, hillsides and then again, I am sticking them one at the back of the other. So now I can uh, stick the little girl on the front. I am adding some foam tape at the back and just because I don't want her to be alone there I am going to give her some friends so I am adding a tree at the back and I am going to add the cow and of course I'm going to add some uh, clouds at the sky. So go mixing and matching uh, many images from different stamp sets can give you the ability to create many different scenes and uh, this goes perfectly well with the one that I created uh, previously so you can pretty much make a whole set of those cards. I'm going to stick that panel on top of my card base and my card is finished. And now let's take a quick look on all the 8 cards that I have created using the February release by my favorite things. Create 8 is going to come back next month where I will be featuring the March release by my favorite things. And take a look at what great set those two cards make together. So these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired and if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos where I am creating 8 cards featuring the December and January release by my favorite things. Thank you all for watching!